Hello everybody, my name is Caroline Lee. I'm a diamond doTERRA wellness advocate and today we are going to spotlight the essential oil bergamot. Now bergamot is a citrus fruit that's native to the Mediterranean um, and it is exclusively almost always grown in the Calabria province of the southern of southern Italy. Now this little known, known citrus fruit is probably most well known as the pleasant flavoring in Earl Grey tea. Now bergamot is believed to have originated in southern Italy and as the result of a cross between a sour orange and a sweet lime. So the fruit itself is like the size of an orange and it's greenish to yellow when it's ripened. This fruit does taste sour but uh, when you express the essential oil from the Peel, it's actually a sweet smelling. So bergamot oil supports a healthy uh, nervous system, cardiovascular system, cognitive function, and also may support the nervous system and help relax muscles. So bergamot is very unique citrus oil. It has high concentrates of the uplifted monoterpene limonene that is often found in a lot of our citrus fruits and a citrus essential oils, but it also contains a common monoterpene called ester alinyl acetate, which is the same thing that gives the relaxing qualities to lavender, clary sage, and pettigrain. Now, because of this, bergamot oil is an ideal oil to help us with anxious feelings and sad feelings, or for times when tension is really high. Um, diffusing bergamot can help reduce those feelings of negativity and to encourage your self-confidence. So when your stresses are high, get your diffuser out, get your bergamot oil. You may want to com combine it with Douglas Four or grapefruit. Now, bergamot oil is highly valued in the fragrance industry and it is an ingredient in approximately half of women's fine fragrances and about one third of men's cologne. Bergamot is a key in a lot of those, and I will give you a homemade natural recipe in just a few minutes. All right, so we mentioned that bergamot is a, a flavor that most people recognize in Earl Grey tea, so here's a simple recipe to make your own. You can add a drop of bergamot oil to a pot of black tea, and you can also decorate it with adding citrus peel to it. You can add a few jasmine flowers, or if you want additional flavor, you can add a drop of lemongrass um, essential oil to customize your um, tea. We talked about how great it was for diffusion in the air. So an oil of self-confidence, um, also very calming and relaxing. So let's talk about it. Let it go and trust. And indoor sunshine dis diffuser ideas. All right, now we're gonna do calming. We want something to help us sleep and relax, right? Um, while we are being uplifted. So we have a Relax and Uplift Diffuser Blend as well as Sweet Sleep Diffuser Blend. And lastly, I promised you that we would do a perfume blend. So here's a recipe for you with several oils um, that you might have on hand uh, to make this beautiful blend. Um, so just go ahead and mist yourself after it's done, shake it up and mist it, um, and you can have a natural perfume. So before I let you go, I want to talk about other products that bergamot is found in. So it's also found in the doTERRA Forgive, the Calm, Clary Calm Women's Blend. It's found in the Natural Deodorant, um, in the Citrus Bliss Blend, um, and, and the um, doTERRA Refreshing Body Wash and the Moisture Bath Bar. So you can use it in lots of different things just by listening to that. You can add bergamot to the bottoms of your feet before you go to bed to help encourage a sense of calm and harmony. You can actually add a little fractionated coconut for a min, uh, night massage. Um, remember, it is a citrus fruit, so we want to avoid sun exposure for 12 hours. But if we're doing it before we go to bed, we could ma massage it with some coconut oil on the backs of your feet or on the back of your neck to help you relax. You can add it to your skincare regimen also um, to help with the purifying effects um, as well. So um, let's see. And let's see, you can diffuse it with lots of essential oils that. Um, work really well with it. You could do lavender, Douglas fir, like we mentioned, geranium, grapefruit, and serenity. It blends really, really well with that. If you want to learn more about how to use bergamot 
or other essential oils, you can visit my website at my.dokutahara.com forward slash living better. And you can explore some of the videos and other recipes that are there. Until next time, keep oiling.